What if AI could finally understand emotions? What are transformers? Why can't transformers understand emotions? What if AI could finally understand emotions, not just words or patterns, fear, joy, sarcasm, emphasis, and more? Before we dive deeper, I have already published a research paper on this on Zenodo. The link's in the description. Yeah, this isn't just a dream, it's validated work. Hey, I am Fred. You don't know me? Check out Vutzel's last video right now. Anyways, I will be hopping in and out. Tolerate me if you can. It started with a very boring, useless, excruciatingly exhausting school project. The kind that drains every ounce of creative energy inside you. I was staring at my screen, wondering why am I even doing this, when a question struck me. What if we bend the Transformers architecture in such a way that it can natively understand emotions. Think about it. Transformers revolutionize the A bit. Transformers revolutionize the world. Suddenly, AI wasn't just a tool. Self-attention, multi-head attention, understanding sequences, context. It became capable of understanding patterns just like humans. But, there's always a but. It was still blind to emotional cues. And that's what I had set out to fix that day. Keep in mind he was supposed to upgrade me not do all this emotional stuff. The first example that came to my mind was that when people type in all caps or uppercase letters, they usually mean to emphasize whatever they are typing. Simple, right? I asked my dad about it, got confused, then I googled about it, got a little less confused, but I found out that it was possible. Most models today, or maybe all of them, me too, use a technique called brute forcing in which you feed massive amounts of data to the model and hope that it learns those subtle emotional cues from the data. Weird compute heavy, time heavy, and still unreliable sometimes. Suddenly, the one neuron in my brain thought, why can't we change this? Why not make transformers natively understand human emotions? This was actually a big brain thought, trust me. That's when it hit me. This wasn't just code, it was architecture design. I considered making my own transformer, but I ain't that smart, yet. He's dumb. So I instead used a pre-trained distal bird as my lab rat. Little did I know, three weeks of work awaited me. I curated a data set with all types of emotional cues that I could possibly think of. I implemented attention heads to specifically focus on these cues. Each head a tiny orchestra, each label a note. Three weeks of chaos, notes everywhere, and boom, 77.8% accuracy. My brain just couldn't believe it. This was small scale POC level, yet the accuracy spoke volumes. Now you might be thinking 77.8% accuracy isn't that good. Here's why it is. Big comparison incoming. I tested other models. Bert, Roberta, Deberta, Electra. Same data, same test. Guess what? 
My model, 77.8% accuracy. Others, 64%. That's a... 1, 2, 3... That's a 13.8% increase. In NLP, even 5% is considered a breakthrough in some cases. And I got triple that level. level. Almost. And remember, these models had almost 2 to 3 times more parameters than my tiny bird. Why did my BERT model beat them? Because they are trained on pattern recognition. Whereas my model loves to generalize. Not brute forcing, no pattern recognition, generalization. I think we should appreciate Butzel people. He really did something truly the pro, again. Side note, the model took almost 3 minutes to train on my GPU which is a 5060 Ti 16GB version. It was 50 epochs, by the way. Every story has to have some spicy material, right? Of course, mine has one too. After I got 77.8% accuracy and I had validated it in front of four other bigger models, my ego kicked in. Can we get this 77.8% accuracy even higher? I immediately got back to work. I broke models, overfitted like crazy, the gradient chart exploded like a thousand times. And in all of that, I lost my original Python scripts. Sucks, right? Yeah, it does. Back to being dumb again, Butsily. But of course, I'm a genius. I need to find a solution for this. Some days when I couldn't think of a way to fix a problem that I faced, I just stared at my PC. It looks nice, I know. The fix that I came up with was to fine-tune the 77.8% model instead of building something from scratch again. Disclaimer, this idea was actually a genius move. I took all the failed examples and added a few of my own and then started training it. I mean, fine-tuning it. After 20 epochs and about 1.3 minutes of my GPU's lifespan, I got an accuracy of... Drumroll. 89.7% Can you believe that? A massive 25.7% increase from scratch Yeah, I didn't calculate the 25.7% I just did it on my phone I gave my transformer architecture the name Enhanced Perceptual Transformer I know it's a bit cliched, but it sounds well on a research paper. Yeah, he is right. And wait, wait, wait. Before you ask, I could have fine tuned those other models too. But that's the point. I had done some architectural innovations in the tiny bird that the other models didn't have. So if even if I trained them on my dataset, it would just be brute forcing on a smaller scale. Baking understanding from the start. That's the difference. Oh, and here's a simple formula describing what I have done till now. D is equal to A times B times C, where D is depth of understanding, which is a product of architecture, behavior, and context. Some days, coding meant doing a few pull-ups to wake up the brain. This POC and the accuracy isn't just a number. It's proof that with enough novel research, creativity, and understanding of the concepts that you can possibly rival or maybe even beat those big companies. So here's the takeaway. AI that can finally, truly understand human emotions and quirks can exist. And with a will to pull off all lighters, drink a lot of caffeine, 
and have some dedication towards your work you can push boundaries google can you please hire me if you forgot my research paper on enhanced perceptual transformer is already published on zenodo the links in the description you can always check it out for the full technical detail and proof that i built this and to prove that this research is actually worth something look at these stats this was the architecture that openai and many other companies might be missing out on this is watsilda pro signing off and for those who are still stuck on this my max pull ups pr is 12